a lot of what MSF manages in the field is, is actually climate sensitive diseases. So those are the vector borne diseases, the arboviruses, the diarrheal diseases, waterborne diseases. So whether that's cholera, dengue, or emerging infectious diseases like COVID. We also obviously manage yellow fevers. And all those are all climate sensitive. So if you take dengue, the habitat of the vector, the, uh, the Aedes, loves standing water. When you have massive rain, you collect all kinds of water. Then you, you actually create breeding grounds for the vector. Then that causes transmission of the disease much larger. Because of climate change, you have more weather changes in the patterns of the weather more severe storms, more heavy rains, balance that with vector changes in, in their behaviors, you're gonna have a, an unfortunate uh, media for more disease. But that's also related to us actually getting closer to different environments, like the forest, because we've torn down those, that, that living space of animals. That interchange actually causes diseases from animals to jump to us because of vectors that are looking for new hosts. And we get that. It also, climate and can also cause more extreme weathers, as I've already started. And the hurricanes that pummels the region, Latin America, Honduras, cause also different destruction of shelters and homes, etc. And while, you know, historically MSF has worked a lot in more conflict settings, and we still do, and more and more recently in the last few decades into what we used to call natural disasters. Today, though, one would argue that those disasters, weather, extreme weather events, are actually man-made, because we've contributed to that climate change that allows more extreme weather to happen. And therefore, what we're seeing is in urban spaces, for example, when you hit a when you get a severe weather, you have more populations exposed, and having to go find more shelter, and it, these are emergency situations that MSF work in, and that's how you know this is why it's so important. We don't think and connect the dot, but they are the dots, but they are connected. One begets the other, and compounds emergencies on top of each other.